U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and USGS and Portland State University have all been working together for a while to try to better understand nutrient populations in the Northwest. And in urban areas like this wetland, um, get a better idea of how they are uh, behaving, uh, whether in areas where there's more human activity, they may be more of a daytime critter. We know that they're more nocturnal in natural areas, but uh, we'll get a better idea of their movement and uh, some of the data that come from these uh, trapping efforts um, and monitoring studies will give us some better information on how to manage nutrient populations. A few years ago, we were aware of nutria were very common in the, in Oregon, uh, but really there was no management strategy for them. So we began with a, a workshop or a symposium to bring people together to talk, talk about nutria in Oregon and in the Pacific Northwest. One of the things that we've been doing as part of the nutria research program in the USGS is to establish nutria research in the Pacific Northwest. To that end, we've been working with Paul Heimowitz of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Invasive Species Program, Mark Sisma of Portland State University and his graduate student Trevor Sheffels. This is one of Trevor's research sites. It is a wetland that's owned by a local uh, uh, community conservation group and we've just set out traps here to catch nutria. One of the things we're going to do at this site is we're going to put radio telemetry devices on nutrient. Now, this material is supposed to degrade within three to four months and drop off. Because the animals gain and lose weight over the year, a good fitting collar today will not be a good fitting collar three months from now. And so when the collar doesn't fit well, the animal has problems with its foot getting caught in the collar or with its uh, neck being cut by the collar. And so the idea is we only put collars on for three months, the collars fall off, and then the animal's not harmed and we can recover the collar and then uh, uh, maybe use it on a different animal in the future. Hi, I'm Sergio Marino. I work at the National Wetlands Research Center in uh, Lafayette, Louisiana, and uh, I've been working with Nutria for about 10 years now. In areas like here in the Pacific Northwest, you, you have a good chance to actually eradicate Nutria if you uh, put programs in place to do that. Uh, in Louisiana, uh, it's probably not possible to fully eradicate nutria. We're uh, very happy to uh, have this work going on and we're very interested in uh, helping apply it as many cases as possible. We have national wildlife refuges in the Northwest where nutria are a, are a big concern and the information coming from these studies will give us more information on how to manage nutria on those refuges.